I'm Tony King. It's your thoroughfare for a Wednesday. The Local Heroes Film Festival happens to be the progeny of the Edmonton Short Film Festival, and they are asking you to join them at the Matar Theater in the Stanley A. Milner Library. And there will be a Q&A to follow. That's coming up on Thursday night, February 23rd. It is my pleasure to speak with the executive director of the Edmonton Short Film Festival, Candace Makawichuk. It's kind of you to set an overview of this film festival in celebration of Black History Month. It's the Local Heroes Film Festival. Yeah, we started community screening. So I came on board with the Edmonton Short Film Festival December 2018. Um, I noticed that we were getting such amazing uh, films submitted each year. And um, we decided to start a community screening program to showcase some of those ones that we aren't able to through our annual short film festival. So we started a lot of smaller um, community screenings. So Edmonton Short Film Festival, we're kind of going back to our roots, Mm -hmm. Uh, just the annual short film festival and all these additional community screenings are now under the Local Heroes Film Festival brand. Well, if this was a figure skating competition, we pretty much covered the whole rink and we've done a couple of triple lutzes in the meantime and got into a deep dive of what your organization is about. And specifically, this pertains to the Black History Month celebration that's going on and Local Heroes investment in that and the screening that takes place on Thursday. There's a real eclectic array of movies to be found here. And what informed your choices for this film festival celebrating Black History Month? We've got uh, two programmers on board, and they're the ones that review all the films and put together that curated selection of films. Of course, they had to feature uh, Black creatives. Black and Blue, we accepted, and Justin Kieber is not a Black person of colour. But he really felt strongly that he wanted to do this film. Black and Blue is about interracial relationships. Mm -hmm. Um, It's really important for the film community and filmmakers to, if they can work with a specific segment of the population, to bring their stories forward Mm -hmm. to do it. Because they've got the skills and the expertise in terms of actually putting a good film together and stuff. And uh, so Justin really felt it... um, important to share a story on interracial relationships. And I caught up with Justin Cooper to talk about his film, Black and Blue. This is what he had to say. This film has had a incredible lifespan. Um, it was written in 2014. It was filmed in 2018. And here it is in 2023, and it's still screening all over, which I never expected in a million years. So uh, to get a chance to screen it in front of a hometown crowd in Edmonton, it's uh, it's always amazing. So what do you attribute the lifespan to? To be honest, I'm not quite sure. I think it just has <laughs> uh, it, it has a, a hook, and people seem to you know enjoy the characters and enjoy the music. I think the music plays a, a big part in it, and just the subject matter as well. It has stayed relevant um, in subject matter, and I don't know if that's a good thing because you know it addresses racism and equality, and you know those things still haven't been addressed today. Um, but I think you know it's it's something that. You know, we can keep revisiting. Sum up the plot, if you could, just briefly uh, for for listeners. So Black and Blue follows a nine-year-old troublemaker named Katie who's forced to spend a day with her uh, blind grandpa who is dealing with early dementia. Um, and I guess through their interactions, she gives him back something priceless, which is his memories. What planted the seed in your wanting to tell a story? Where did the idea come from? I guess three major areas. Uh, the first was I had a family member who was diagnosed with early dementia, and I uh, went down a rabbit hole, and I came across a study of um, it was like music that is improving moods and you know kind of specific memories kind of coming back, and I thought that was interesting, and I couldn't really put my finger on kind of how to tell that story within a film. Um, but also at that same time, I just graduated from university, and uh, one of the big things that I was interested in was American history in the 1960s. Kind of using that, I wanted to draw parallels to 1960s and at the time of writing it. And then, I guess, as well, uh, Damien Chazelle's Whiplash just came out, and I was all about jazz music, still am, but like 
really obsessed with it and I want to incorporate jazz as well. So kind of a concoction of those three, uh, threw it in a blender and just really worked out a script and uh, it came out as black and blue. And Black and Blue will screen on Thursday night, presented by the Edmonton Short Film Festival and Local Heroes at the Stanley Milner Library. And I'm speaking with Candice Makowichuk, the executive director of the Edmonton Short Film Festival this afternoon. Candice, so what brings these films together? What ties them together? It's all about stories, right? So Mm -hmm. films are about stories, and some of them are very personal, like Shades of Worth and stuff, right? So... That's amazingly fascinating. People who have lived these stories and choose to actually share them, like Valicia Pepin, for example. Yes. Are the filmmakers going to be in attendance for a Q and A? Um, yep. Yeah. yeah. Nozni Knight, um, Justin Kieber, and San Sandro Silva will be available. Well, you set a perfect stage for this story. Thank you for doing that for us, Candice. That is Candice Makowichuk. She is the executive director of the Edmonton Short Film Festival. They are presenting a local Heroes Film Festival, part of Black History Month, on the 23rd of February. That's Thursday night at the Stanley Milner Library downtown. The screening gets underway at 7 p.m. There are seven films all together, and among them, Black and Blue. Music plays an integral role in the movie directed by Justin Kubers. So I asked him what he would request. Ooh, let's go with uh, let's go with the title, Black and Blue by uh, Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong coming up momentarily. Don't forget to check out the Local Heroes Film Festival coming up on Thursday, February 23rd. 7 p.m. is showtime. Details can be found at epl.ca.